Hello everyone, Miss Silva here, Learn to Grow. I hope that you guys are having a nice day. So I watered our whole garden with worm casting tea diluted in water. So got it done this morning. Try to do it before the sun came up on our side of this garden. I was a little late, had a kind of a late start. Had to have my coffee first. <laughs> but anyways, I try not to get the leaves because the leaves can burn if you water the leaves and then with the, from the sun. So try to do it before the sun hits your garden or before sunrise. If you're up that early, I'm usually not. And also before sunset is actually good too. So at dusk, you can water your garden. I prefer to water in the morning though because I like the water to evaporate during the day. So if you accidentally get water on the leaves, like it evaporates. Sometimes if you water at night, the water can sit on the leaves it could harbor fungus so you never know especially if it's humid and warm the extra moisture in there can harbor fungus and probably other diseases so here is the video i hope that you guys enjoy it and i'll be jumping in and out for some more tips along the way this watering can is about two gallons i'm going to pour about six ounces of the nutrient tea just kind of eyeball that and go ahead and add our water when we add our water, we're actually activating all those microbes and fungi in the worm tea, giving it some oxygen in there. And again, you want to use this within 24 hours after activating the nutrient tea. So I've been watering both the soil and the plants. You can actually use this as a foliar spray if you like. Some of you may already know this, but worm castings can improve your soil structure, better drainage, aeration, moisture and nutrient retention, and also can increase drought tolerance in plants. So I'm out here in our miniature orchard, got some blueberry shrubs behind me, a couple of apple trees, pear tree, rhubarb plants, a dwarf blackberry shrub over there that grows, grows to about, I think, four feet tall and a flower rock bed behind the camera. So I went ahead and also gave them some worm tea, diluted it in water. So what I usually do is per each shrub, I give about three ounces of worm casting tea and a gallon of water. Now, since my watering can is about two gallons, I just double it. So I put about five to six ounces of worm casting tea, then I fill up with water to the top, and then I just water a couple of blueberry shrubs at a time. And also I will do the same thing with the apple trees. So anyways, it is great to use worm castings in conjunction with worm casting tea because they work together. Worm casting tea is activated when, you're at, when you add the water, it activates all the microbes and fungi in there. It also contains humic acid. So it actually increases the microbial population in the soil along with the worm castings that you've added already. So it's great to use them together for best results, healthier plants, healthier soil, first of all. Remember, we're building up the soil. When you have healthy soil, you'll have healthy plants that'll produce for you. I am adding worm castings as a side dressing or top dressing to our blueberry plants. So you can just put like a half an inch to an inch layer. You just put it right along the side, just like so. So I'm gonna do about at least half an inch. You can just leave it as a top dressing if you like, and as you water it, the nutrients, microbes, and fungi will filter down into the roots and the soil. Or you can just lightly scratch it right on top of your soil, just like so. And if you're mulching, I'm mulching with wood chips, so I can just 
put the wood, wood chips back on top of the worm castings. And if you are mulching, remember not to put your wood chips or any mulch um, right beside the, the, the trunk or the stems of your shrubs or trees because it can cause it to rot or harbor insect pests and diseases. Also get the apple trees. So again, if you can see this, it's a side dressing. So it's a bigger plant. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it about halfway around the plant or the tree. Generally for fruit trees, you want to add about half a pound of worm castings. This is our dwarf blackberry bush that I planted about a year ago. So we're going to go ahead and spread some worm castings around it. So just like that, just kind of scratch that in. You don't have to completely put it around it, just like that's fine. And I'm going to mulch with wood chips. So when you're mulching, it looks like a donut. So there's your hole in the middle there. Here is our espaliered apple tree. It is grafted with five different varieties. So much fun. So we're going to go ahead and give this some worm casting tea. So I've got about three ounces of worm casting tea and about a gallon of water. So I'll be transplanting this next early spring. I didn't want to shock the plant, so I just left, this, left it in this 15 gallon pot. Worm castings contain more than 50% humus. Humus is what's found in the forest floor, which is made of decomposed plant materials and plant leaves. Humus is a carbon with a great surface area kind of acts like a sponge so it can hold on to nutrients, water, and also has room for microorganisms. So besides all the nutrients, plant enzymes, hormones, beneficial fungi, and microbe that worm castings contain, that nice ratio of humus is another great quality. Now where do all these beneficial microbes come from that are in worm castings? Well, the earthworms eat or feed on decaying matter and also microorganisms. As they digest all these organic matter and all the microorganisms go through their system, the worm poop or worm castings are encased with this mucus that come from their digestive system that also contain all these microorganisms or bacteria. And when we feed our soil with this organic matter, it will increase the microbial population in our soil, which will further break down all the organic matter that your plants can use right away. Hi everyone, so it's been about two weeks since I first recorded the video of watering the garden with nutrient tea and applying some worm castings. As you can see, all the new growth, flowers are blooming, everything's looking lush and green. And check out the fig trees down over here. There were some artichokes, strawberries, a couple more fig trees in pots there, a mixture of garlic and strawberries in that bed. Those fabric bags are full of potatoes that I planted. So anyone can achieve a healthy garden and healthy soil without using chemical fertilizers. They can do more harm than good for the soil and the plants. Chemical fertilizers contain a lot of salts which can accumulate in the soil and also can harm the beneficial microbes, fungi, and all the living things in the ground that support plant life and soil health. If you are already gardening organically, that is wonderful. Keep up the great work. Have a wonderful day everyone and thanks again for joining me. Happy gardening!